Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about some very interesting Zen 5 news concerning architectural changes which seem confirmed within AMD's own software patches. And this is great news actually regarding the performance of AMD's upcoming processors. But I want to finish the video with something more somber, and that's news concerning the rise of mining. Now, obviously, mining has certainly been something that has impacted PC gaming before, but I've had more than a couple of people People writing to me about this and frankly I really want to talk to you guys about this in this video because it's not just worrying for the actual concern of GPU mining but it seems to be affecting CPUs as well and we're going to get into all of that plus more after this quick message from the video's sponsor. If you're running a copy of Windows 10, which isn't activated, of course, not only do you have to worry about the missing customization options, but there's also that annoying Windows desktop watermark reminding you to activate. Today's video is sponsored by WhoKeys.com, and they have an excellent price on Windows 10 Professional as well as Home Keys. Yeah, and they also, of course, sell games. I've bought a few Windows 10 keys with my own personal account to test everything was legit and worked in preparation for this sponsored video. You can pick up one of their keys for 25% off using the coupon code RGT in the checkout. There's links to their website in the video description. Also, if you're building a few systems, there's bundles available too. Again, you can check out whokeys.com and use the coupon code RGT for 25% off the listed Windows 10 key prices. So there is a very interesting article on forenex.com. I will leave a link to it, of course, in the video description, along with a link to the um, account of Cheese on Twitter. So basically speaking, these Zen 5 performance patches seem to indicate that the Zen 5 dispatch width has actually increased from six operations per cycle up to eight operations per cycle. Now there is a caveat here which we'll talk about in just a moment but I would like to bring your attention to a very interesting slide which uh, AMD themselves uh, released and this is an official slide and you can see that uh, it's coming in 2024 a new grounds up microprocessor architecture enhanced performance and efficiency re pipeline front end and wide issue and integrated AI and machine learning operations now the AI and machine learning operations is stuff basically on the AVX side so we'll just largely ignore that for this particular news story but it is going to be more perhaps interesting in a moment but again we'll get to that in a second now, on previous Zen microprocessor architectures, for example, Zen 4 and Zen 3, we had um, the same number of operations per cycle. So I believe it was six wide, for example, with Zen 3. So this essentially is going to be very important for performance because with other microprocessor architecture changes, both what we've seen with previous improvements to the Zen architecture, plus the various leaks that I've been hearing as well with Zen 5, it seems that basically speaking, the wider dispatch now is going to be much better at feeding the execution units of the CPU. Now, of course, there is much more to things than just actually the execution units being able to be fed, uh, one of which, of course, is, for example, the cache of the processor, and actually just being able to pull mem uh, data from memory. So, for example, if the processor is bandwidth constrained, there's going to be a whole different uh, set of problems. But generally speaking, these are very positive improvements to the CPU. Now, before we go too deep into this rabbit hole, I do want to mention, actually, and this is a uh, credit to Tempos. Um, I'm probably going to butcher this name, so I really apologize. Uh, but Tempos... Lamarant. Hopefully I've pronounced that uh, correctly. If not, I profusely apologize. But uh, in the PDF, which has been linked, you can see that the dispatch is actually listed as six here. However, perhaps it's possible because uh, Cheese actually responds to this that the PDF also has an equation of an eight event instead of a six event. So it's maybe just because these processes haven't been released yet. It could just simply be a typo or some type of issue. And I do think that eight is probably the correct number. In the not too distant future, I'm going to be putting out an actual video which is going to be going deeper into the IPC discussions um, because, quite frankly, I think there has been a lot of confusion regarding the Zen 5 IPC numbers. Uh, for your FYI, I've heard everything from, you know, mid 
let's say teens, so 15%-ish, some folks have said up to 20. However, um, if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, last month or two, you'll know that I did put out a video, and some of my sources have been telling me it's significantly higher than that, like over 30%. And basically, I'm trying to get a little bit of clarification on a couple of points, and I'll probably go deeper into that whole IPC rabbit hole in the not-too-distant future. But um, this is just a quick video, because the main purpose of this one actually was crypto mining. So first of all, let's talk about the really bad news. Um, so you may, I want to give credit, by the way, to a bunch of people who um, sent me messages on Discord. There was a bunch of messages actually for me on Twitter as well. Uh, because to be honest with you guys, I've been out of the crypto mining space for quite some time. In fact, I didn't really follow it much apart from when Ethereum was booming, simply because, well, obviously I, like everyone else, was a bit uh, displeased with the pricing of GPU. But uh, since then, I haven't really been following it too much. But um, essentially, some crypto mining currencies have been going absolutely crazy, or should I say cryptocurrencies. Uh, for example, if you guys look at the trends over the last several months of, you know, the kind of the granddaddy, grand daddy, excuse me, of all of them, Bitcoin, you can see that there has been a small upward trend but um basically speaking uh, videocards.com actually posted this along with a couple of other websites and a couple of people as i said also dm me about this but um i don't want to start giving out personal details of people who dm, DM me because they haven't said that i could directly share the screenshots so obviously there's that but anyway um so you can see that a 7950x um, using Cubic, which of course is a miner, is generating about three bucks a day. Now, this is significantly higher than older Zen based processors. Now, there is, of course, um, going to be a direct, um, you know, reduction in profit for example if you're running an older cpu sorry a, a lower core count cpu but in the case of the 7950x it is of course featuring 16 cores so in terms of profit um, obviously you, this is calculating the power consumption costs you're looking at around three us dollars per day and that's primarily because of the support for avx2 slash avx 512 instructions so this is actually quite profitable indeed and yeah um, this is where things get really concerning because from all of the rumors um, that have been popping up uh, zen 5 is going to be much better at this so potentially i have heard and whether this is actually the case in reality and obviously things can change anyway in terms of profitability on a drop of a hat as everyone knows um that it could be up to two times more profitable with zen 5 which could be particularly bad um because it could basically mean that there are massive shortages of zen 5 processors Z wang mega science gpu who i actually follow on twitter and um pretty great account he actually was warning about this as well um he said that uh, where he's located um which i believe is china i may be incorrect but he said that the 7950x is the king of uh, cubic mining and he then said you know in the same tweet sorry in a quote tweet that the 7950x is out of stock everywhere now he also says that the rtx 4060 and 4060 ti are also now starting to be impacted as well um, and obviously this is going to be gpu related so this is actually well let's just say bad for many different reasons now i don't want to start giving you a doom and gloom warning because the worst thing obviously anyone can do is to panic buy um and i think that there are a lot of folks and quite frankly i would not have blamed you who have simply waited like i think we're far enough along in the zen 4 life cycle that it's not exactly going to be a big deal if you wait x amount more months for the specific processor whether it's the i don't know like the you know the 16 core processor or the 8 core processor of zen 5 you want to pick up to release if you have a cpu that's kind of lasted you this long waiting another three six twelve months or whatever is probably not going to have killed you and you know even it you know waiting for the x3d variants however at this point it's very possible that we could get some shortages now i don't i think it's too early as i said to panic but i do think you guys should be keeping an eye on this one and obviously this could also impact 
um, potentially Blackwell, although Blackwell is not going to release for quite some time. It'll be very interesting to see what the profitability is of Blackwell for mining. And obviously, um, it also will be very interesting to see what actually happens to various cryptocurrencies in terms of profitability anyway, because, well... I certainly am not an expert, so if someone wants to DM me about this who perhaps knows a little bit about mining or you want to um, email me or something like that and kind of give me more insight, that would be also pretty good if you have been following along with this and kind of uh, let me know what your thoughts are. But generally speaking, uh, it seems that mining is very volatile, but it's certainly on the rise right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in terms of the profitability of this thing so i'll just you know kind of be a bit be a little bit wary um but anyway i think that's just about it for this particular video hopefully you have enjoyed it i'll see you soon take care of yourselves have an amazing day bye for now